Hey you guys, I want to share with you this quick and easy recipe um, from, a, from a food I got from Target the other day. But my crock pot is becoming my newest favorite friend lately. And, um, so get your pen and paper. This is really Here's some celery. I didn't buy the celery the other day, but I had had the refrigerator. But look, I got this beef, this chuck roast. And what I did, two and a half pounds for 14 something. What I did, I cut it all up like in two or three piece slices. Mm. Get your pen and paper and write this down because it's super simple and it's super delicious. Hmm, and got the crock pot going. And on the bottom of the crock pot, I just put um, a sal uh, Italian salad dressing, and that was like the marinade. Italian salad dressing. Then I sprinkled just a couple teaspoons of this uh, all season salt into the Italian salad dressing, and I mixed it up, and that was like the and I put the meat, cut the meat up like a two or three inch long pieces, and then tossed it all up in the marinade. Then, on top of that, I put like a, a, a thing of celery, a bit, one thing of celery, and the other thing, but I don't see it. We may have already eaten all the scallions. I put a whole thing of scallions in there. Mm, delicious. So in the crock pot I had the chuck roast, the celery, and the scallions marinating and roasting in the crock pot on low for a few hours. Delicious. Then, when I was cooking, I had rice. Remember I bought rice from Target that... It was like a pre-boiled or a pour-boiled rice. I had made that separate on the side. Mm. Mm. So then, that, what this whole thing is, it's rice on the bottom. Then, the juice from, the, from cooking the meat and the vegetables in the crock pot. And then, celery scallions and meat on top and see this see this green uh, like a uh, little seasoning on top that's basil dried basil um, i'm going to tell you the importance of each uh, food item here and even though it is super easy and super tasty um, there's really good reasons why i chose this all these ingredients and i'll tell you about it mm. yeah. don't mind me For people like with high blood pressure or water retention, celery is really good. And I can never eat hard, crunchy celery. I can't eat that much. Oh, I like to put it in the crock pot. It's easier to eat. So put that in your notes. And so you're cooking a fun crock pot food, but it also has health benefits. And then this parboiled rice long grain. I thought it was a brown rice, but it wasn't. It's just, it's just called parboil. I was so surprised 
Now do your research on this. Parboiled rice is the most nutritious rice there is. I didn't know that. I thought brown rice was the most nutritious. So do your research on parboiled rice. I'll post some information in the description box below. But brown I thought brown rice was your best source of vitamins and minerals. But apparently it's parboiled. And I, I, I learned something really um, good that I was uh, happy about. And it might help a lot of people. Um, so then what else? And obviously this chuck roast. Oh my goodness. Sometimes you get a meat that just doesn't. Doesn't work well in a car. This chuck roast is so tender. Mm. Delicious. I want to tell you about the importance of beef, you guys. I know people don't want to eat like, beef. I mean protein. What am I talking about? Um, a lot of people shy away from protein. For some reason, people think protein is bad for your kidneys. But do you know, isn't our DNA, like the foundation of our DNA, made out of protein? Um, I'm not a, I don't really know that much about science and biology, all that, but... We really need to have more protein, you guys. If we're lacking in protein, isn't that like the bottom foundation of of, the, of us not being healthy, right? Mm, doesn't our, our DNA need protein to to be at its best? I think. Now the hard part is. There's a ratio of protein that your body needs for your body weight. Um, I'm not that good at math, so I'll give it to you like in a layperson's way, how you can think of how much protein you need. It's, it's not gram per pound. It's like a 0.8 of a gram per pound of how much you weigh. So... Real quick off the top of my head, if you weigh 100 pounds, then you need 80 grams of protein a day. That's a lot of protein. If you're not getting that, you're, you're doing a disservice to, your, to keeping your body healthy. So, if you weigh 100 pounds, you need 80 grams of protein a day to be healthy. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need 160 grams of protein a day, right? I hope I'm doing my math right. That's a lot of protein. So, so you guys, do your research. Make sure that what I'm telling you is true. I'm almost positive it is. But like I said, I'm not good at math. So maybe I've messed up somewhere. So, if you look at your food, it is really hard to get that much protein in food. That's why I'm adamant about the protein powder drink we have three times a day. That's like 75 grams of protein a day. It takes a whole pound of hamburger you would need a whole pound of hamburger to get about 100 grams of protein. And then you still wouldn't be, if you weighed a little over 100 pounds, you get enough protein. But on an average, say you weigh 150 pounds, 100 pounds, if you weigh 100 pounds, you need 80 grams. If you weigh 200 pounds, you need 160 grams. So if you weigh 150 pounds, you need 
about 130, I think it's like 130 grams of protein. So figure it out each day. If you're like 150 pounds, or ballpark a little bit high, lower, a little bit higher, you need 130. Excuse me. Uh, 120 grams of protein a day. So that's like a pound of hamburger. Each day, that's 100 grams, and then 20, and then maybe a protein drink. So, work on that. Talk to your doctor and make sure the protein is okay with you. I don't know why so many people have problems with protein. I don't know if they really have problems with protein or like it's an old wives' tale. Mm -hmm. Oh, and remember, I always put um, basil on because basil dries up mucus like if your lungs and your throat and your nose is stuffy and full of mucus basil helps get rid of that mucus mm. Mm. salt of course don't put as much salt as, I, as you see me do that could be a health hazard for some people but mm, the scallions that's like a uh, Scallions, onions, those are good against like viruses. They kind of like ward off bacteria and virus. Scallions. And um, so every food, every item that I used pretty much was was health related too. Um, if I had to say what's most important, I would say to really reevaluate your protein intake each day. Do your research on protein. Make sure that I've given you the correct mathematical equation for the right amount of protein you need each day. But you guys, if we're not getting enough protein, your body really suffers. Your body suffers. Your brain suffers. Just a reminder that the DNA. I'm pretty sure DNA is made up of protein, right? So doesn't that make sense? Mm. Forgot to mention this seasoned salt that has salt, spices, chili pepper, black pepper, celery seed, nutmeg, garlic, so cilantro, uh, food coloring. So this has a few and a few, you know, preservatives, but I never use too much of this. And, um, of course, it's always best if you could get your beef without um, hormones or um, added, added things to it. And, of course, you can get protein from non-animal sources. So you just have to do your research on what protein is best for you. So remember just by drinking, you know that protein powder we get, that J-Rock protein powder? We have one three times a day. So right there, there's like 70, 75 grams of protein. Because there's like 23 or 25 grams of protein per serving. Um, for you guys who aren't big on meat or beef protein you can always think of adding protein powder mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this this wasn't supposed to it's not a video to watch me eat the whole thing because there's no way I could eat this whole I just wanted to show you how I use my stuff that I buy from Target and the health benefits of each food item. And a reminder that I also took my digestive enzymes before eating this and that helps my food digest better and I feel better and it just makes for a whole, whole day of feeling better. Yeah. Hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching.